Hello friends. Uh, welcome back. Today we are just going to do a repotting of my Sensevieria cylindrica. I think it's called a Sensevieria cylindrica nina. I came home from work today and uh, I had tied my dog outside. This guy just like threw my pot down and like destroyed it. So I thought I would repot this. I'll just show you a uh, small insert as where I keep the plant. I keep it in front of my window. Um, and I tie my dog usually there and this guy had like torn it down. Uh, here this is how it looks. This was the root system. The story of this Sensevieria is uh, at a nursery uh, this guy had just torn it off, uh, torn it out and I requested him and I took it, got it home. So that entire piece was like destroyed and it already was mashy. Um, so what I did was I chopped off a piece of it and I planted in this soil and in two months, two and a half months, this is a growth that I'm getting of uh, this Sensevieria. I'm very happy uh, that I took the courage to ask him and to get it home uh, and uh, a proof that Sensevierias grow really easily. This plant is a native of West Africa and usually this plant is found in the wild there. So the water requirement for this plant is as minimum as possible. If you look at the soil in which it was planted, it is not even having that required moisture. Because the moment you water it or over water it, constantly water it, it would lead to root rot and it would get destroyed. Also another thing is the more the plant is in water, uh, it has its fibers, it just absorbs the moisture and if you continuously water it, it kind of become um, like it kind of melts around and then the plant uh, dies. So what I do is I water it completely when the soil is dry. Uh, this plant tolerates any amount of sunlight. You can give it a strong direct sunlight it can handle it you can give it shady area or less sunlight a minimum sunlight it will handle it it can handle dim sunlight like but avoid no sunlight in the sense it requires that minimum amount of sunlight if we talk about its propagation this plant is propagated by me. It was chopped off. It did not have any roots. So basically it is a cutting of the main plant because uh, the roots had already gone uh, spoiled. So as a reason I had chopped it off and I had planted it. So propagation is through uh, cuttings. Also another thing with this plant is if they get a required uh, conducive soil, they start growing and a new baby puff comes up so that is another way of you can just separate that baby uh, pup and uh, plant it so that is another way of propagating so let us start with the repotting of my sensivaria cylindrica now what is the composition of the soil that i have taken here i have taken 50 percent of river sand then 25% I have uh, taken my garden soil and the balance 25% I have taken my vermicompost and added a few or uh, handful of uh, perlite. So if you look at the composition of the soil, it is highly porous soil. So the moment you water it, the water would just like drain out from the hole of the pot. This is a kind of soil sensory require so here is where i have placed uh, my sense of area i have shifted it upstairs on that terrace uh, because um, it may get destroyed again by my dog uh, this is where i'm going to keep it it will get the required sunlight finally sense of areas are easy to maintain plants easy to care plants they are great air purifiers you can keep it in your sitting room and enjoy its beauty thank you so much for watching friends i see you again bye